Hi everyone, it's Wednesday and we're back for another card. So now we'll have two done. We'll be down to 46. How exciting. Maybe I'll get some out next year and won't have to worry about it. Um, I do have the card on some brown paper because I'm dealing with the um, Stampin' Up! Confetti Cream paper. So I, you couldn't see it on the white. That was pretty not good but I like to use it for measuring but we'll go ahead and we'll get it together it's a simple one so here we go I uh this is your normal four and a half or four and a quarter by five and a half card um the card stock is from Stampin' Up it's confetti cream I want to say it that's the name of it is confetti cream um one of my favorites to make a cardstock base because of the color and especially for Christmas because I could do my browns my reds I really enjoy those um, what I have here what I'm going to layer it with is a piece of stamping up uh, designer series paper from last season it was actually on their clearance rack I do believe it might be last season or the season before and that's cut at three and three eighths by five and a quarter and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, it's already taped, I'm ready. Oh, oh, nope, 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 not even. I did use repositional tape because, hmm, obviously my even skills are not what they uh, should be. There we go. That's pretty nice. I like that. So what I have um, is felt ribbon. Again, that's, I cut it really long just so I can have what I need. Uh, this is 16, about 18 inches. So I cut it at 18 inches because I want to put a brown ribbon. I'm going to use gingerbreads. And I'm hoping I can get better at this. And then what I can do is um, I can actually start doing cutting and everything with you guys. But I'm still getting used to this camera the way it's set up. So hopefully we can get that together but I'm gonna go ahead and tie a little bow I hope you can see what I'm doing because I do the camera from overhead I like that so we'll go ahead and I want my bow over here I don't know why well let's just get a bow made how about that and I might just do a faux bow depending on how mine turn out because yeah it's kind of short see I should have still cut it longer how about that and just do a double knot. Just something to give it a little jazz. And then I'm going to cut it on an angle. I just do... And see, my scissors did not cut there. That is because my son used them, I want to say, to cut plastic. So I definitely need to invest in a new pair of ribbon scissors. Usually I'll burn the edges, but on the felt, I don't. So... There we go. Just a cute little kind of bow. Nothing jazzy or spectacular. Just cute. I like this type of stuff because it goes through the mail really nice when I when I send it. And uh, that way I don't have to worry about it. Now what I'll do is I cut a gingerbread at about three and a half inches from the Cricut cartridge from my kitchen. I outlined them in white gel pen. I put two little red jewels on his tummy for his buttons and I use peachy keen holiday stamps for his face. I put a little bit of pink chalk on his cheeks and colored his little pink nose. So I just love that face for him. So we can go ahead and get him on. And I used uh, Recollections Foam Squares so that uh, it pops a little higher than with the Stampin' Up! Dimensionals. I think I said that last time. I just really like the... Uh, the thickness of the foams so I'm hoping tomorrow starting on Thursday I want to do a throwback Thursday what I want to do is I want to place him over the ribbon like so um, throwback Thursday for me would be using I, one of my goals this year is to try to use all of my stamp sets I do have a little bit of extra time on my hands so I thought well why not why not do that why not go ahead and put them to use? And I had not been stamping for a while because I was really um, using my Cricut a lot. So what I'd like to do is start, sorry guys, start um, 
definitely stamping and go back to back to basics so and use my old sets from Stampin' Up. I have here is a uh, kind of like a little I forgot what they call them. It's like the top note to me. It's something you could stamp in as little. Um, and I, it's a Hero Art stamp. Tis the season to be jolly. And I used um, Cherry Cobbler from Stampin' Up as the outline of the uh, sentiment holder. How's that? Because I just thought it matched the paper really, really well. Uh oh, here we go. And then what I will do is pop that there. And there you go. Nice, easy card. Goes through the mail. Really nice. Love it. And I do have a thing for gingerbreads. So we'll probably be seeing more of those. And I think I'm going to cut this a little bit shorter. Yeah, I like that a little better. So if you have any questions, let me know. Um, I'll put this on for you guys to view. And also I will um, put it on my blog. And that way you can check it out there. And we'll be all set to go. So it was it was fun. I, I'm glad that we get to share this kind of stuff together. And watch for me tomorrow. I'm gonna like I said, I'm gonna do a throwback Thursday and use my old stamp sets. And maybe if you guys have any ideas to what to do with them other than what I do, please let me know. Take care. Have a great day.